another day, another dollar. Thank the Lord for another 24. God, I knew that was you. Quick correction officer video. Somebody asked me to make a video about the custody versus non-custody, the rank structure for the Bureau of Prisons, or we could talk about any agency. You know, I, didn't, I, I worked for a county jail back in the day before I worked for the Bureau of Prisons, so I know about the rank structure for just about any agency. You know, basically most people coming off the street, if you never worked in corrections, obviously most people are going to start as a CO. You know, you usually stay as a CO for your probation every year. Once you're done with your probation every year, most places, which is about a year, at least for the Bureau of Prisons, it's like a year. After that, then you can start applying for non-custody jobs. You know, you got so, it's so many different jobs within the prison system. You don't have to stay a correctional officer your whole career. You got secretaries, you got counselors, you got case managers. If you want to keep moving up, you got uh, unit managers, you got the AWs, associate wardens, the captain, the warden. You know, when I worked at the county jail, the rank structure went from, you started off as a correctional officer one, then after a year, you moved up to a correctional officer two. Then you were able to apply to be a corporal. That's like a, a, a mid-level supervisor. You will be like a supervisor on night shift or evening shift or on the weekends. After that, you can uh, apply again to move up to be a sergeant. That's like an upper level uh, supervisor. You know, they usually work during the week. Some of them work during the midnight shift too. Though You had a night shift sergeant, second shift sergeant, you know, mainly during the day shifts too. And then after that, you can move them uh, and be a lieutenant. You know, that's like, that was like the um, the captain. That's the equivalent of a captain where I worked, when I worked the county jail. It's so many different jobs. You got food service. You got landscape. You got uh, the facilities officers. You know, they work in the warehouse. They in charge of all the packages and deliveries that come into the prison. You know, depending on your education, that can help you with uh, applying for a uh, certain job. Certain jobs you have to have a degree to even apply for. Like if you want to be a case manager, you got to have a degree to get a, a case manager position. A lot of stuff is just like you have to play politics and it's like how you how you work on the job, how you function on the job, what your supervisors think about you. That plays a big role because when you put in for these jobs, especially for the Bureau of Prisons, you know, they're going the warden. He's the one that makes the final determination on who gets the job. So they're going to call your supervisors. If you work at a different institution, let's say you work, I don't know, you work in North Carolina and you applied for a job at a federal prison that's in, I don't know, uh, South Carolina or something. The captain and maybe the associate warden at the prison in South Carolina, they'll call up here to North Carolina and they'll call and ask about you, you know, and depending on your work ethic, uh, how you are as a co-worker, this and that. The uh, the captain here at the prison that you at, they'll uh, respond on the phone and, you know, they'll either vouch you out and recommend you for the job or they won't. It's as simple as that. You know what I'm saying? But that's how the rank, that's basically how the rank structure goes, you know. Now, when it comes to getting different jobs, you have to weigh the pros and the cons, you know, as far as non-custody versus being in custody, staying an officer. The uh the most appealing thing that most people you know the uh non custody jobs appeals to most people is the the uh basic reason is because you get the holidays and the weekends off right that's the main thing a lot of people want to get out of custody they they get tired of being mandated they get tired of you know having to work the weekends sometimes working the holidays working different shifts shift work. Once you become, let's say you go the counselor route or you become a case manager, a lot of those non-custody positions, they usually work Monday through Friday, eight to four. They have all the weekends and all the holidays off. They may have to work like one holiday uh, per every six months, or they may have to come in like maybe once, once a weekend, maybe I think it's like every six weeks or something like that. They split it up, you know, because every unit, at the federal prison, you know, they have like a unit team. They got a secretary, a counselor, a case manager, and a unit manager. It used to be more, but they started doing away with positions and whatnot. So they take turns, like, we you know, working a late night. They may, one of them may work a weekend. They, but they only work like 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And then, too, this is the next thing. 
when it comes to non-custody positions. Some of them you could do like where you um you don't have to do five A's. You could do four tens and have three days off. So some people they work like six a.m. to four p.m. and they work Monday through Thursday and they're off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or they may be off Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You know, so that's a big appeal too. For people that work in non-custody, you got more flexibility. You can get more days off, you know. Now, the downside when it comes to getting out of custody, you know, now you're dealing with a, a, a direct supervisor that's over you. So you may have to uh, deal with them more often. You know what I'm saying? I've heard some co-workers, you know, that were in custody. They got out of custody. They went to another department. You know, they said they didn't really like their supervisor. They was like, man, they, they supervisor be on their ass. They be constantly, uh, you know, checking in, making sure they there, seeing that they showed up to work on time, shit like that. You know, I mean, you're supposed to do that anyways, but then I've, I've, I've heard other other uh, co-workers that's in other departments, they said, man, their supervisor really don't like, they don't like try to micromanage them like that. You know, they if they need a day off, they just tell them like, shoot, take the day, man. What am I going to tell you no for, you know? And then too, when it comes to the uh, the non custody jobs, it's a lot more. I feel like it's a lot more politics, you know, just because you probably got to do a lot more meetings. You got to you got to be in uh, people's faces more. The thing I, that appeals to me as far as being a CEO, you know, if I decide to stay the officer route the rest of my career is a lot of times, you know, you just be on your unit. It just be you and the inmate. So you be by yourself. You can kind of run your unit how you want to run it. Stay out the way. If the lieutenant, the sergeant, whoever, the warden, they come do their rounds on the unit, they usually only there like five minutes and they gone. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what appeals to me about being an officer. Yes, it has its ups and downs. You know, the downside, like I mentioned, you got to work the holidays, the weekends, you know. But once you get enough time in, if you decide to stay an officer, you can work that shit to your advantage. You know, you be it on your vacation. You just put it in for the weeks. For the vacations you wanted to be off, you know, once you got time, man, you could damn near pick your days off you, if you want to be off on the weekends. See, I've been on the same post for like five years straight now. So, you know, I'm, I work night shift, but I'm off Sunday, Monday. So it's like having the weekends off. I get off Saturday morning at 8 a.m. and I don't have to be back at work till Monday night. So, you know, I got the weekends off. Then I got a whole Monday, you know, I could do shit that I need to do during the week. If I got a doctor's appointment, I got something, some kind of, uh, some shit I need to schedule, have somebody come to the house to look at something. I always tell them, come Monday, you know, all my doctors and dentist appointments, I schedule on Monday because I know I'm going to be off on Monday. That way I ain't got to worry about uh, seeing if I can get a day off, this and that. So you got to weigh the pros and the cons, you know, as far as if you want to go the custody route or if you want to stay in custody or if you want to get out. A lot of people are always here and say, man, whatever you do, try to get out of custody. Try to do uh, try to do another position, get into another department as fast as possible. I'm like, shit, I mean, yeah. But then you got to think now, you got a lot of people that most of the staff that work in a prison are correctional officers, you know? So, I mean, most a lot of people end up doing their whole career as a correctional officer. You know, I've been a CO 13 years, you know, and it's still good to me. You know, I don't like... I don't let the job, like, get to me. Some people, they just, like, let this shit stress them out. They be involved in too much, like, work drama, work politics. Just a bunch of dumb shit, man. Like, unnecessary shit, man. Uh, filing grievances about un petty shit, man. I just do my job, and I go home, man. I ain't never been in, like, no deep, no deep serious shit to where it's, like, this shit stressing me out. Uh, I, I said, I need to find me another job ASAP or quit prison altogether. I'm like, this shit is so easy, bro. It's like, you literally come in here, you like an overpaid babysitter, man, working inside of a prison, you know? All you do is, most of the time, is just sit there with the inmates. You go do your rounds, some cell searches, and go sit back down. If ain't nothing going on, ain't nobody in there fighting, getting high, trying to kill themselves, this shit gonna run itself, man. Prison gonna be prison at the end of the day. Some people just try to make it more than what it gotta be. They try to goddamn do too much, man. Go sit your ass down. You in the way. That's all you gotta do. You know, whether you decide to stay a CEO or whether you decide to go the non-custody route, all this shit is easy, man. It's like the job is too easy. The money we make is too good, man. Like some people, they just, 
I don't know. It's like, like they get in their own way. They don't even know it. They in their own way. You know what I'm saying? Like, just let this shit run itself. Do your job. Control what you can control. You know, some people, they get in their feelings. You can't get in your feelings when you work a job like this, man. You can't take nothing personal. If you get passed over for a job promotion, just put in for some other jobs. You will get some shit eventually if you really want another job. Just keep putting in. They, they can only pick one person. You might have been fucking 50 people that applied for the job. You probably weren't the only person. Somebody might have been more qualified for you. They may have had more time in than you. They may have knew, knew somebody or knew something you didn't, man. You know, it just is what it is. If y'all like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel at The Ghetto Bodybuilder. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok at The Ghetto Body, but I got the merch for sale on my website. Shop with me on my website, www.theghettobodybuilder.com, man. But I hope this video answered any of y'all's questions about the rank structure, uh, the differences between, you know, working as a CEO, working non-custody, this and that, man. Y'all got any ideas, comments, topics for future videos? Drop a comment. I'll be sure to get back with you as soon as I can. Y'all know how we coming. Let's get motivated.